All right, so this is another interesting aspect of Lake Tahoe. So let me try to draw the shape of Lake Tahoe real quick. There's Emerald Bay. And what you have is you have two main fault lines that run through the lake. You have the Western Tahoe Fault, and then you have another fault that runs up over here, more uh, east, of, east in the lake. So I think that this is interesting and why it could be really important is just because like in Yellowstone, in the national, in the national land you have the geysers and over millions of years the geysers move in a line essentially like in hawaii the island chains are made in a line because you have the tectonic movement and i believe because of the topography at the bottom of lake tahoe that's what we're seeing um, there's a large pyramid structure which i'll elaborate on but there's also other structures essentially in a line at the bottom of lake tahoe current scientific belief is that this happened from something called the mckinley landslide so miles and miles away, they believe that there's a landslide that pushed this massive structure into the bottom of Lake Tahoe. And I don't think that's plausible. When you look at the scope and size of this, this pyramid-shaped object, it's too large. It's 350 feet tall, over 1,000 feet wide. And it's probably about four or five miles from where it was supposed to be coming from. Now, another reason why I think there's volcanic activity at the bottom of Lake Tahoe is because in the early days when I was filming next to the fault line. I was trying to see the fault line because USGS was interested in it at the time. They never ended up getting video footage of it as far as I can tell, but I tried to give them my video footage. Um, at this fault line, what I think we had that's influencing the bottom thermocline is essentially, well, it's essentially, I believe we have, I've seen shimmery water on the videos. Um, there's an area on the video that, where you can see the side of the fault line and when we went over the fault line, we can see down it. And this is already at 1,650 feet deep. So Lake Tahoe might be a little bit deeper than we were originally thinking. Um, with the shimmery water coming up at the fault line, we also noticed there's an epicenter for life. Thousands of shrimp in one frame. And you can see the shrimp going down the fault line and coming up the fault line, almost as like they're being blown. So I think there's this, with the volcanic kind of layout of how the topography at the bottom of the lake is, and with the the fault line having shimmery water and it being an epicenter for life, I think it could be part of a new ecosystem that's rising from the bottom Lake Tahoe instead of inspired, kind of started by the sun. Um, I think it can be the whole, the start of a whole new food chain in the bottom of Lake Tahoe. So this isn't like unprecedented worldwide. We see it in the oceaning all the time. The ocean's got thermic vents that are 6,000 feet below the water that stem a whole new food chain, a whole new, whole new type of life. Um, this is how people think that life actually began on planet Earth. So, um, we know that there's volcanic activity in the ocean. We know that there's volcanic activity in this area. And I don't think it's a far jump that there's volcanic activity under Lake Tahoe, starting a whole new food chain with predators and all this. We've seen thousands of lives down there. We've seen shrimp. We've seen multiple bit fish that people have never seen before, different types of fish. And the closer we get to these fault lines and closer to these epicenters of life, um, the fish life just explodes. There's, the density gets far greater than if you were to be in the center of the lake. So going and checking out these things in the future, I think are gonna be very important. I've never been able to get the large pyramid structure on camera before, but that's definitely gonna be something we're working on. Um, possibly, because I just don't believe it came from the Kenley landslide. I know that's the current scientific belief, but they also haven't looked, so. I want to look.